The reason I'm here today is because I think um, I think we all have a role to play in pushing back against white supremacy right now. Um, I think it's clear that um, policies like re-implementing the drug war, like the Muslim ban, um, that are rolling down from the federal level are emboldening local white supremacists on the local level, and we have to find a way to fight back um, along that entire continuum. Um, so that particularly Muslim folks, black folks, um, Latino folks, immigrants and refugees are safe in our communities. <laughs> When I see that, it breaks my heart. It hurts um, to know that here in America, we're still fighting this 50 years later, even after Dr. King and those of the civil rights movement who stood to bring equality and to stop the poverty and the racism, that we're still addressing the same thing here today. That um, those people, they're really ignorant, that they're promoting terror and fear. They're um, standing against people who love America too. Migrants home with you. Take the migrants home with you. Take the migrants home with you. You know, he um, is using for his defense free speech, which he crossed the line. Speech is something that you do verbally, not that you do actively. You know, and that's just like in our First Amendment, it says to peacefully assemble. And I think that Jeremy Christian, and I'm just, I'm saying that to it's horrible what he did. His, his hatred and his bigotry is wrong. And, um, it's not, that's not free speech when you take it across the line and act upon your bigotry. Like I said, my son's in the military and I thank God every day for Donald Trump because I know he's going to take care of our military. Give it away, those big blue 